Hi, I'm Richard Spencer, President of Ferrania Resources. I'm here to talk to you about the recent financing. It was a $4 million raise uh, with a, an option to go a little higher than that to, to $5 million. And the use of proceeds of that financing is to, is to advance our, our exploration in the Lost Cities Kutuku project. It's an enormous area. It's uh, 208,000 hectares or just over 2,000 square kilometers. Our target in this new area that's never been explored is both epithermal gold and porphyry copper. So the project is going to have multiple, multiple targets and that's what we need the, the cash for, is to develop each of those targets to, to a drill stage. One of the things that people are concerned about is when we're going to start drilling, when we're bringing the, the truth machine into these targets. And our target date is Q4 to start drilling the, the, the first target. Our plan is to, with this cash that we've raised, continue with the exploration. We've only covered 15% of the area so far. We're, we're uh, accelerating that basic work. And our plan is, once we identify a target, is to evaluate it and get it to a drill stage as quickly as we possibly can, like any other company would do. But then that's where we need to be really disciplined is just do scout drilling in each one of those targets. And what I mean by scout drilling is drilling five, six, seven holes, maybe 300 meters each. So that at the end of it, we've got a whole portfolio of targets that are real, that have got real results in them. So we, we certainly are not expecting to do any resource drilling in, in the short term. We're simply identifying which projects are in our sweet spot uh, in which we feel that we can finance and, and which would be better put into the, the hands of, a, of, of other bigger companies. So the project is in a, a pretty remote area. It's rugged, uh, it's really extreme conditions in, in the field. However, from a drilling point of view, <coughs> We would use man portable rigs. These rigs can go to 1,000 meters, 1,200 meters, and, and they produce normal, normal sized core. Obviously, getting the fuel in and, and getting the core out uh, that, that in most situations needs chopper support. In Crunchy Hill, which would be the first target that we'll drill, uh, that actually is within uh, you know, a couple of hundred meters of the road. So, uh, logistically, that's incredibly simple to, to deal with, and it's a nice segue for us to iron out all the sort of operational problems before we go into some of the more remote, uh, remote areas. I think it's important to, to recognize that the exploration that we are doing is exactly the same kind of exploration that Keith did in finding Fruta del Norte and I was involved in some porphyry copper discoveries in the adjacent belt as well. We're applying exactly the same techniques. So all of that is running on the technical side. However, in the background, there's been a whole lot of work going on in sort of polishing and, and refining that uh, historical data, tying it in with, with new data that's coming in the whole time. Those historic mines will come out in our routine exploration. There's absolutely no doubt about that, uh, about that because they were mined for about 40 years and the spoil from those mines would have just been tossed into, into the local river. That material will be in the rivers and so we will identify those historic areas. However, we are still working pretty hard on, on the historic data and uh, yeah, we've, we've started to see some quite interesting stuff. The state is being very, very supportive of, of mining. Uh, Ecuador has, is in a record debt situation at the, at the moment, and the new government, which has been in power for about two years, is very serious about dealing with that debt situation. So they have empowered a minister or a couple of ministers, uh, but this is particularly led by the foreign trade minister, Minister Campana,
He's the guy who's talking about building a copper smelter in, in Ecuador, which would be very, very interesting. It would change the economics of uh, a good number of projects. He's from the private sector. He's absolutely not a politician. And in the same vein, uh, less than a month ago, the finance minister was brought in, new guy, young guy, from uh, the private sector as well. And he's linked up with, with Campana. So it's an incredibly exciting time to be there. We're, we're having these discoveries being made and then the support coming in from the state after pretty broad consultation is, is a very healthy environment. The Lost Cities Kutuku project is an area that's been pretty marginalized in, in the past. Uh, life hasn't changed all that much for those local communities in the 400 years since the Spanish were there. There's a real opportunity to do something with those communities in conjunction with those communities. We have a corporate social responsibility for want of a better name a group that's working uh, in, in the area. That group goes in before our geologists go in, talk to communities, explain to them what exploration is about, what exploitation is about, and that kind of thing. So it's a very respectful relationship. If the community says to us, no, they're not interested, we, we get out of there, we go and work in a, in a different area. And um, that sort of respectful relationship is, is really working well for us. And we're starting to work with other ministries um, health, education, and Keith has set up a, a foundation to encompass those two main main areas and help to, to benefit the, the people. So that if the, we closed shop and decided that there weren't any deposits in that area tomorrow, uh, but that basically the communities would be in a better state than they were when we, we, we first arrived. That's what our aim is and, and we're certainly delivering on, on that path. In terms of news flow, we expect a strong second half uh, because we've got all this exploration going on in preparation for drilling, so we've got a lot of teams in the, in the field generating results quickly. We are trying to be uh, pretty much on the front foot about communicating with the shareholders. The press releases obviously are there, but we'll, we're also shooting a lot of video in the, in the field. Um, to try and get people more involved, uh, get them to see exactly what, what we're doing, what our relationship is with the local people, uh, and, and our relationship is absolutely phenomenal. But, you know, I can say that until I'm blue in the face. It's much better to, for that to actually come across in a video as it, as it does. Um, but, you know, if people uh, feel that there's a topic that they would like covered or something that we've sort of missed in the past, please just, you know, email the, the company. There's an info at orania.com uh, web uh, email address and just, you know, shoot us ideas in there and, uh, you know, we'll do our best to, to, to cover that material and, and uh, produce a, a video on it or at least try and answer the question or whatever.